This instructional video is designed to show you how to determine standard thermodynamic values for Gibbs free energy, enthalpy, and entropy. Given a reaction and data table data uh, to fill in. So the first step then is to determine whether or not you have a balanced reaction. In this case we do not and in order to balance this we will need four hydrogens and two ammonium chloride. So once we have our balanced reaction we will use those stoichiometric coefficients at the end but the next thing we must do is fill in our table data. This is very straightforward. Uh, the standard states of nitrogen, hydrogen, and chlorine are in fact nitrogen, hydrogen, and chlorine gases. So the value for enthalpy will be zero in each case. The solid ammonium chloride will have a value in a data table. And the one we're using says minus 314.4. Same thing holds true for the Gibbs energy. We'll have zero, zero, and zero here and a value of minus 203.9. Finally, for the entropy, uh, we have non-zero values. 191.5, and 94.6. So now that we have these values, we will apply the stoichiometric sum of products minus the stoichiometric sum of reactants. So for delta G standard, we need 2 times minus uh, 203.9, 203.9, minus the stoichiometric sum of the reactants. So that's 1 times 0 for the nitrogen, plus 4 times zero for the hydrogen, and one times zero for the chlorine. So multiplying through and simplifying everything will leave minus 407.8 kilojoules per mole for a delta G standard. The standard enthalpy works exactly the same. We will take two times minus 314.4 minus 1 times 0 for nitrogen, 4 times 0 for hydrogen, and 1 times 0 for chlorine. Again, we want to multiply and simplify through for everything, and we get minus 628.8 kilojoules per mole. And so finally, for the entropy, going to do 2 times 94.6. So that's our stoichiometric sum of products minus stoichiometric sum of reactants. Uh, 1 times 191.5 from the nitrogen. 4 times 130.58 for the hydrogen. And 1 times the 2, 2, 3 for the chlorine. And so when we simplify through, in this case, we get a value of negative 747.62 joules per mole Kelvin. And so now the one thing that we have left to do, now that we have our story dimension quantities, our thermodynamic values, is to determine whether or not we have a temperature where this could be brought to equilibrium. So we know from thermo that the Gibbs energy is delta H minus T delta S. If the system is at equilibrium, delta G is zero, and that means that delta H and T delta S are in equilibrium. They're equal to each other. So to find an equilibrium temperature, we will need to divide delta H by delta S and that value has to be zero or greater because temperature starts at absolute zero and goes up. If we take the values we have here, we see that they have the same sign, so the division will work. And we find 
that our equilibrium temperature comes out to be 841 degrees Kelvin.